temperature. It's the measure of hot and cold. It's one of the most important water quality parameters. Temperature affects water chemistry and the functions of aquatic organisms. It's also a vital sign, one of the basic five water quality parameters. These include dissolved oxygen, temperature, conductivity, salinity, pH, and turbidity. Your quality assurance project plan should have criteria for ensuring that the thermometers being used meet certain criteria so that they produce usable data of known quality. Only use thermometers that meet quality assurance criteria. Perform annual performance assessments of the thermometers being used in your monitoring program. This is done by comparing them against a standard, certified, traceable thermometer and thoroughly documenting the performance verification test. Visually inspect thermometers before each use. We want to ensure that they're in working condition. Only use thermometers that have a complete and unbroken column. For safety's sake and to protect the environment, don't use a mercury-filled thermometer. Only use a bulb thermometer that is filled with alcohol. These are commonly referred to as spirit-filled bulb thermometers. This is a spirit-filled bulb thermometer and it's armored with a plastic case. Thermometers can measure temperature in various units. This thermometer reads in Celsius. Thermometers can only measure temperatures within a specific range. A maximum reading is possible and a minimum reading is possible. In this case, the maximum temperature that can be measured is 50 degrees Celsius and the minimum temperature reading would be negative 5 degrees Celsius. A thermometer's resolution is its ability to detect one temperature from another. This thermometer can be read in increments of half a degree. Measurements reported from this thermometer with less than a half degree resolution would not be acceptable. When using a spirit-filled bulb thermometer for environmental monitoring, it's important that when measuring air temperature, one reads the thermometer without touching it. And when measuring water temperature, the thermometer must be in the water when the measurement is read. When measuring air temperature, ensure that the thermometer is in the shade a few feet off of the ground and away from walls, tree trunks, or vehicles. Completely submerge the thermometer to measure the stream's temperature. Allow time for the thermometer to equilibrate to the stream's temperature and make your reading. As demonstrated, using a clear cup makes this task easier. Make sure you take that final air temperature reading and then retrieve your thermometer.